Good day. Thanks for joining me for another arcade gameplay video. Uh, this is Versus Balloon Fight uh, by Nintendo. Now what the Versus hardware was, was basically the Nintendo, uh, the original Nintendo Entertainment System hardware placed into the arcade. So here we go. This is uh, for the Mame Meister's High Score Kerfuffle League play. Uh, at least a few, at least an attempt or possibly two. I've just been uh, getting my uh, recording system reset up here after upgrading my operating system, so I, I ended up having to reconfigure everything. and. Also a new version of uh, OBS, so that didn't really help anything either. <coughs> and I did have some difficulty with my capture box, but I think I've got it all sorted out now. Now, uh, I'm actually not playing this on an arcade ROM, as uh, which was approved by the uh, fine gentleman that uh, operates the league. Mr. Uh, London Retro UK Video Games. I'm sure I got that wrong. I'll, uh, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. You should, uh, you should check him out. He does some streaming. He does some gameplay videos. And he's an all-around excellent guy. Now, um, so anyway, the nice thing about this, this is a, this is a Basically, it's a it's a it's an extraction of the arcade ROM version, and then put into the correct format for running on the original Nintendo hardware. Now, what's kind of nice about this one is that it has auto auto flap enabled, which by just holding down the button you can do that on, on main without too much trouble. But um, oddly enough, I was having some difficulty. This particular game on MAME on my system, the video was very choppy, and I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. Oh, anyway, on to describing this game, I guess. If you haven't figured it out by now, or if you're not familiar with uh, some of the older arcade games, this is a joust. Um, clone is too strong a word, because it isn't. But it's very much a joust-style game heavily inspired by Joust, but with a lot more gameplay elements. And no pterodactyls. What it does have is uh, the clouds, if you take too long, will start spinning out lightning bolts. And, uh, at which point you are much more likely to perish. dodge them, but it's pretty tough sometimes. The way they move around, they bounce around the screen, and they bounce off the screen edges and things. So, um, yeah, basically you're you're trying to do in your these guys in the bird masks, who are also balloon pilots. <laughs> I really get a kick out of the way the, uh, the uh, characters in this game, including the player character control their balloons by flapping their, their arms and their hands. It's, uh, it's goofy, but it's also funny. It's funny to me. I don't know why it's so funny to me, but it is quite funny. I find it quite funny. Um, yeah, so basically you have to hit them from above. Um, if you... or higher than, higher than them, anyway. If you don't do that, then you bounce off of each other. Which I'm not sure if I'm demonstrating that here. Yeah, I think I did on one of the earlier levels. There's one where I bounced off of instead of defeating them. And if you're lower, then you are the one who loses the, the balloon bumping exchange. And you lose a balloon. Uh, you start with two balloons, and if you lose a balloon, 
you're still fine, but if you lose your second bloom, then you're done. And if you get hit by a lightning bolt, you're done. If you fall into the water or get eaten by the fish, you're done. Which I assume is some kind of carp or something. And now every three levels, there's a... Oh crap, one of these bonus levels. In which you have to try to get... Collect 20 balloons, pop 20 balloons. And um, you can get some pretty significant points. And I've... One of the... Discord members who I think has this game in an arcade cabinet um, says that that's crucial. Getting these bonus rounds, the perfects on these bonus rounds, is crucial for getting big scores in the game. So I have not done better than about 150,000 and change uh, to date. I've been playing this. I've actually been playing this a fair bit, more than I would typically do for one of these uh, high score challenges, because it's it's really a fun game. It's a really good game. <laughs> well, I gotta tell you, the auto flap thing is certainly handy, so I might be saving my thumb joint, which is. Uh, Sadly, getting arthritic and uh, also probably improving my ability to get uh, higher than these guys. I think I just heard a lightning bolt launch. Yep, there we go. Just in the nick of time. Uh, also, if you, these are little, the thing in the middle there with the pink ends on it is sort of a bumper paddle. If you hit it, it will send you flying off kind of in a random direction. Like like it just did with that yellow balloon guy. Um, so that's not great. You don't want to be near it when it launches one of the one of your opponents. And you don't really want to get launched yourself by it because it's a pain. It can throw you in an unpredictable direction and very easily toss you into one of the sneak up there. That's a good way to, uh, you know, <laughs> all I had to do was go to the other side of the screen. I did not do. I want to, uh, ah, I wanted to get, I want the opponents to come down, but, but, uh, they don't seem to want to, so I guess I've, I guess I'm going up to meet them. I'm, I'm hoping that they'll at least come down a little bit here. Watch Ponder play this game, and uh, he's, he's pretty good at it. He's, he's pretty good at it. He's, he's doing much better than I have managed to do, which uh, which is pretty good. Meaning he's pretty good. I'm not pretty good. Ah, jeez. Try not to swear, since this is going to go up on YouTube. Although I guess I. Thank you. 
is maybe not looking all that promising. Not when I do that. Darn it. When you bounce off the ceiling like that, that's... You get, you get propelled downwards pretty, pretty good. That'll take me to, what, 135? Okay, well... Ish. Darn, not the bill, not the big bonus I was hoping for, but if I can manage to stay alive here for a little while and beat some of these guys, I might come up with a personal best. Those little bubbles are you probably know the star 500, bon 500 point bonus things. Um, they're not that important, but. 500 points in this game is not actually insignificant. I mean, maybe if you're scoring a half a million, the 500 doesn't matter. But, um, I'm not, so, you know. Oh, we've got two bumpers now. Is that the last opponent? Come on, where are you? Here comes the lightning. for cursing. 155 on the nose. Hundred fifty seven. I'm pretty sure that's pretty sure that there's the big old cart or whatever whatever it is. Oh no! set up and decided to give this a go. Ugh, what a pain. Okay, maybe, maybe one more game, see if I can do a little better here. I think that is actually a, a personal best, but not by very much. by uh, hovering over these guys as they... Oops, but not when the lightning comes. Oh, that was close. That was stupidly close. Okay, maybe that's a good reason not to do that. I guess you could probably manage a few extra thousand per level. Doing that, but the risk might not be worth the potential reward. Uh, the reward isn't actually that strong, that, that large, I should say. Actually, I think maybe it's the auto flip that's making that. You might get a little better vertical rise without using the auto flap. That's interesting. The auto flap might be just too fast. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Guess maybe I'll save the auto flap for. situation. Or not, I don't know. Come on down, come on down, fellas. Oops. Why are you not coming down here? I don't really want to chase you up here. I guess I have to.
privilege to stay on these bonus levels of death because you can see where the balloons are moving from. than 16,000, isn't it? It's getting a little ugly. Oh, with the lightning bolts there now. similar to Joost in that there's only three categories of baddie, and none of them are, none of them, or at least as far as into the game as I've gotten, are, are as aggressive as the uh, worst of the Joost, the Joost baddies. This is not a stream. Not during this uh, gameplay session. <laughs> I haven't done any streaming. I'm not against the idea of it, but um, I haven't figured out how to get that set up. And it's not that compelling to me, or at least not at this point in my my uh, celebrity video maker career, which I think we can all agree is getting off to a stellar start. I mean, I'm pretty famous now. I've been called up by the local uh, college radio station. <laughs> college radio station and asked how I got so famous, which is a lie, but anyway. Almost 80,000, and I've got, what, two... Two, two players remaining. Oh, come on. Come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Come on down, fellas. The water's fine. Oh my gosh. What? Oh, you can see that guy. Too much action. Too much action. One of them went up. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, this is frustrating. Okay, but I think it's just the one, so as long as I don't get caught by unawares, should be okay. However, my lack of uh, bonus bonus stage success means my points are pretty weak here this time. I would have to get significantly farther into the game to improve my score above my current and I would have to stop doing things like that. I don't think there's any extra extra players awarded after the first one. So preserving those is actually pretty key to success as well. Oh my gosh, come on. Preserving players, your lives, I mean your player lives. Hey, Greeny, come on. And the lightnings are coming already. Is there another green guy up here somewhere? Seems a little unfair that the lightning only does in the player. Ah, shoot. Alright, so much for that. Alright, on that note, I think I will uh, pause this session and uh, I may well come back to this and do a little more recording. But not tonight. It is, it is now too late for this kind of nonsense. And, uh,. I'll see you shortly. If I don't, uh, I'll see you next time. One or the other.